Hey guys, welcome to Destiny Academy. My name is Pramod, and in the last video, we have discussed about the bug in production. So, what are the different steps that you need to do whenever there is a bug that you have found in production? And someone from the someone from the support team basically says that okay, so there is a bug in production. Uh, what should we do now? Right? So, we have discussed about it, and in that video, basically, we have discussed that uh, you should start doing the root code cause analysis, which is basically called as RCA. right so in this video i'm going to discuss about uh, why it is important who should file it uh, i'm going to discuss about a proper template that we have used it's a generic template and how you can basically use this template in your project also whenever there's a production bug or even any bug uh, you want to do any kind of a rca for bad bug or issue you can do or you can apply the same principles okay so let's get started awesome uh first of all uh, guys this is really really important topic why because uh, this situation where whenever uh, if you have like 3 years experience 4 years 5 years any kind of experience even if you are a fresher you will face these kind of issues where uh, there is a production bug and you have to file rcs for that okay and rcs are really really a uh, good uh, thing that you should be start implementing in your process okay so first of all let's understand what exactly is the rca right i uh, okay so rca is basically root cause analysis and it's a systematic pro process of finding and identifying the root cause of problem so basically if you want to find the cause of that issue why this bug was there in production so that we want to know and we are basically following a proper certain kind of a documentation or a process Uh, whenever if we follow that process and we will be able to gather as much information right so that exactly the process is called as root cause analysis so we are doing the analysis for this uh, so another thing uh, while doing the root cause and root cause analysis is that uh, basically uh, the steps are very simple we are basically defining the problem we are ga gathering the data we are basically identifying the contributing issues we are determining the root cause and after that we will basically send an implementation or a solution we will basically send a hot fix and we will document everything so that's like a six step process for rca that we generally we do rca basically starts with figuring out how where and why the issue was appeared right for example for some user there was a particular feature was not working right so we in the rca we will basically trying to figure out how this user is not working how the feature is not working where this feature is not working why this feature is not working and what we have missed in our testing or some way something right so that we want to know uh it basically strive to respond in answer that uh, so basically the core principle of rca that basically we we are discussing here is that we are preventing it so that it basically is not it doesn't happen again and again okay so that's what rca with that we that's why we are doing the rca right uh so let's discuss about that why we should file the rca which is very important right okay so first of all uh let me pull up my marker also it basically find the fundamental error in the development process so if anything is wrong in the development process then we should know by through the rcs okay uh, and it will basically enable the team to and uh, enact right measure to fix the problem so basically what whatever went wrong we are basically trying to find what went wrong in the development what was the, why there was a issue why this feature is not working for these kind of users and we'll basically trying to fix them as soon as possible so that's why we are doing the rca for that issue okay we are basically focusing on the cause not the symptoms so what was the reason for it and we'll basically fix it that's it that's we want to do to when we are doing the rca okay and uh, it will basically reduce the cost as well as time spent by catching the problem early okay so it basically means that whenever we do rca it's a high priority right uh, we'll basically analyzing the impact we are analyzing Uh, what was the cause we are trying to fix it as soon as possible and it's a analysis it's a just analysis that we are doing and after the analysis we have we will have a proper document that okay this is the analysis that we have done now stakeholders can take action on it for example uh, there, there there can be rc on a production bug but there is a impact, very less impact and very less severity then stakeholder can decide okay uh, it is not important we can deprioritize this out right so that's we can do and there are many method uh, generally 
uh, to basically come up with the RCS. So you can read more about them. But generally, uh, I think you have already heard about this. The first method is basically asking the why, why, why question. So for example, why this feature is not working for the customer? Because that feature is basically falls under the special grandfather users. Why we have these grandfather users? Because we have fixed this. So again, when you ask like five levels of why question, you will come to the what was a cause or what is a core problem there, right? That was that is one of the method that we have tried. But right now, what I am sharing with you is basically a generic template, uh, which generally we have used for RCS. Okay, so let it load. Right. So you can go to this link and you can basically uh, see that how to file RCS. Right. This is kind of a generic template that we have used as a QA. Uh, RCA is basically defined as the collective term to describe wide range of approaches techniques to undergo the cause of a problem, right? Uh, different uh, components that we have used and this template generally we are using in Jira. So you can directly use it uh, where what we are mentioning is we are mentioning description. We are adding the full description, adding the point why, what, how and why this has happened, detection, how it was detected, uh, what went wrong, correction, how we are correcting it, what are the fix that we are going to send, how we can prevent in future. What was the impact on the customers? What is the timeline? And what are the action item after this? For example, after this RCA action item is okay, we will send the uh, fix on this date and this is the timeline that we can. So basically these things we are mentioning on the RCAs. Now the common questions are who will, who will file the RCA? Anyone uh, respectable QA, QA lead or even devs can file it depending upon that. Uh, when we should file it, I think immediately and you can set the timelines. Who approved the RPA, uh, RCA? RCA can be approved by directors, stakeholders, PM, anyone. Uh, ETA generally action who is responsible are QA lead and dev leads. Okay, so those are the two important points. Uh, I hope uh, this is clear guys and I hope you are able to understand how to file RCA. Especially this is the context, the context I'm giving you on this is basically related to the QA related whenever there's a bug in production. So those things RCA we are talking about here. Okay, so, there, uh, so RCA can be applied to any other things like IT incident, uh, hacking, uh, your server got hacked or the th other things also, right? So it can apply to those things also. But the projects, uh, I mean the funda remain the same. And this is the concept that we are, dis I am discussing here is production bug uh, due to some of the feature that we have sent or a QA related most of the point. So context here is mostly QA related, okay? I hope this is clear guys. Thanks a lot for watching till now. If you have any question, comment down below. I will be happy to help down. You can download this, uh, download this mind map and have every template on the description. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video.